Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Mediocre Mama. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a very, very deep clean of my washing machine. Now, having been in lockdown for the last three months and having everybody at home and the kids and my husband, the amount of washing has been unbelievable. And so I just haven't had time to wash my washing machine and it's got really moldy and stinky and just not very nice. I don't wanna be putting any clothes in there to wash at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna to show you exactly what I use and how I clean it, and hopefully you'll find it useful. <laughs> okay, so for today's clean, I'm gonna be using the Dettol washing machine cleaner, some Zaflora, Silit Bang mold remover, some bleach, vinegar, and bicarbonate of soda. So first of all, I'm just removing this really disgusting drawer where we put all the detergents and fabric conditioner. It's gone really moldy and disgusting and smelly. So I take some of the Dettol cleaner. I'm gonna pour some of that into the hot water and then I'm gonna let the drawer soak in there. It will soak in there for a good hour and it will allow all the kind of dirt and mold to loosen up and then it's much easier to wipe away. I've then soaked an old minky in that solution and I'm just going to wipe over the whole machine with it and I've got a bottle of Seflora spray that I've made up myself so I'm just spraying inside that drawer just to clean it, get rid of any mould in there as well, giving it a good wipe down. And then of course wiping the front of the machine and then I'll open the door and wipe the inside glass as well and give that a good clean. I then remove the bottom part of the machine. If you get a knife, you can usually just unclip it and it will come off nice and easy. And then all you need to do is unscrew that little cap that you can see underneath and release all the water that's in there. So for that, you're gonna need something really old to catch all the water in. I'm gonna use this really old oven tray that I've got so that when I initially release the cap, all that first lot of yucky water can pour straight into that tray and then after I've collected most of the water I'll be able to put some old towels down on the floor and that will do the job. So let's take this cap off and see what's inside. Ooh, yuck. Hmm, interesting. A Mawawam wrapper, okay. And a couple of kids stickers, so they've somehow got mixed up in the washing but you can see a lot of gunk inside it's actually not as bad as I was expecting but definitely need to clean out that yucky gunk so I'm just using my Seflora spray again that I've made getting it right inside and then I'll get my old minky and give it a good scrub get all that yucky mess out all that gunk and it should start to smell nicer as well rubber gloves we are going to be using bleach we've got the Silit Bang mold remover and some thick bleach normal thick bleach so I'm just going to go ahead and spray the Silit Bang all over the rubber seal first of all spraying underneath just trying to get into every part of it that you can at the top and the bottom um yeah just keep spraying until you've got enough in there and then once you finish spraying the Silit Bang get the bleach and pour that all around the rubber seal as well. Just kind of squirt it around like you would in the toilet, uh, nice and evenly around the seal. And then I'm just literally gonna take my hand in this rubber glove, and I'm gonna massage that bleach into the rubber seal, really making sure it's nice and evenly spread all the way around, and give it a good rub in. And once it's all rubbed in, then there should be plenty on there for it to soak in. So I'm just gonna leave everything now for an hour. So I'm gonna leave all that soaking in the sink for an hour to give it a really good chance to get clean. And I'm also gonna leave that bleach um, on the rubber seal for an hour as well. That really needs to kind of have a really good soak in the bleach. Um, I've really only massaged it in with my hands so it can start doing the job. And then in about an hour, I'll go back and give it a really proper good clean and a scrub. And then we'll move on to the drum and run a hot cycle. 
Okay, so it's been an hour. I've got one of the kids old paintbrushes, which is really good to get in all the nooks and crannies just to remove any of that dirt that's been left behind. You can see now that the plug is nice and clean. So I popped that back in and I've popped the drawer back in after giving it a wipe over and drying it. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour a capful of Seflora into that drawer. And after I've poured that in, I'm then going to get the rest of that Dettol washing machine cleaner, which I had earlier. And all you need to do is pour the rest of that into the drawer as well, ready to go on a hot cycle. And I must just add, this Dettol smells really, really nice. Now that bleach has soaked in for an hour, I'm going back with my old Minky and I'm giving it a good scrub and a good wipe round, try and remove any of that loose dirt and mould that's now come away from the seal. I'm going to spray some of that Silit Band mould remover, pour in some of that white cider vinegar and also add some bicarbonate soba and just keep rotating the drum and pouring it all around evenly. And then just to make it smell nice I'm going to add in some Lenore Unstoppables and that'll just give it a nice smell after the wash. I set it to 60, that's the highest my machine will go. I don't have 90 on mine and I'll just do a fast wash for one hour. the wash is finished I'm just going to give it one final spray with a all-in-one Dettol disinfectant spray just disinfects it but also makes it smell really nice as well after it's been on a hot wash so that's the washing machine done come here Jack can you tell me how this washing machine smells yeah. how does it smell tell everybody Right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. We'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody. Give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe button and see you later.